All right, so we're getting into some of our advanced sequences now. We're going to break down and add some things in there that you haven't done before. But you're going to see we're still pulling from the postures in the Hanji Shodan. So Glenn, could I get you? So for our first sequence, we're going to work off a jab cross combo. So the jab, we're just going to parry it and we're going to slip to the outside. We're going to use the double position to do an A and D. Okay, I'm going to turn my back to you for a second, but I'll change it in a minute so you can see it. I'm going to come up into the stacked hammer fist positions from right here. I'm going to knock that arm out of the way and I'm hitting him right here. Okay, but I'm going to move in as I do that. So boom, pop, bam. I circle this arm, okay? Knee strike him, set him up for some knee strikes. Boom, right here. That's gonna be that double throw, the spinner throw, okay? And then from right here, I could go into a lock, or I could come up and put that heel right into his arm. All right, we're gonna do the same thing from a different angle, So, but just to kind of go back into what we're doing, we're pairing, we're using that double block position to come in, we're going into a uh, stacked hammer fist, palm out, okay? Then we're circling into a single position, we get that underhook and collar, throw our knees, get them set up, use the double position to take them to the ground, all right? So we're gonna parry off that jab, boom, to the outside, Bam, we're in, here's my stacked hammer fist. Boom, we're right there, okay? Now's a good time to set him up with some knee strikes. Boom, you can see the double block position right here. Boom, and finish, okay? Of course, I have finger locks, all sorts of other things I can do as well. All right, come on up. So let's do that uninterrupted here for a second. Now, there is a spot in the kata when we are crossing over, okay, so whether it be from the beginning of the kata or we cross over here, but in that moment, we are coming through cat stance, all right? So again, I'm here, foot turns out, I'm coming through cat stance right there. So that pass through cat stance lets me know that I can use a front kick. All right, so one of the things that I might do is that I might parry double, immediately kick him there and sets him up great for a knockout shot right at the base of the neck. I mean, base of the head and then the neck. All right, so we'll do that again. And pop, right there, okay? Then I can circle in, bam. Set them up for my knees, take them down, continue from there. Now, this, the front kick can also come after the stacked hammer fist. So we're here, boom, bam, I'm in, pop, okay? As you can see, it blows his leg out to the side. So uh, I'm not kicking it, obviously, because I don't want to hurt his leg. But when you kick this, we'll do it lightly. Go ahead and get in your stance. When we kick it, you lift that arm up just a little bit, and I hit it. I'm hitting right in here on the belly of that muscle, okay, so that I get that effect, all right? Now, I intend not to do this too much because it's hard on the knees. Please help us continue to bring you some great videos by subscribing to our channel and sharing our videos.